सो हेलो गाइज सो जेमिनाई सी एल आई हैज़ कम अप विद देर न्यू अपडेट सो इफ यू गाइज डोंट नो जेमिनाई सी एल आई इट्स एन ओपन सोर्स ऑल्टरनेटिव ऑफ क्लाउड कोड सो यू कैन सी इट्स टोटली ओपन सोर्स यू कैन गिव इट स्टार एंड ऑल्सो कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट टू इट एंड इट हैज़ अ वेरी जनरस फ्री टेयर दैट इज़ अराउंड सिक्सटी रिक्वेस्ट पर मिनट एंड हंड्रेड थाउजेंड रिक्वेस्ट पर डे लाइक या इट्स रियली गुड सो आई विन वेरी बुलिश ऑन जेमिनाई सी एल आई एंड दे हैव कम अप विद देयर न्यू अपडेट सो देयर न्यू अपडेट कॉन्टेंट कॉन्टेंस फ्यू ऑफ द थिंग्स विच आई विल बी गोइंग थ्रू सो आई गेस यू नो अबाउट क्लाउड कोड एंड जेमिनाई सी एल आई हाउ दिस सी एल आई एजेंट्स वर्क एंड लेट्स जम्प इन टू द न्यू अपडेट्स दे हैव सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इफ यू डोंट हैव जेमिनाई सी एल आई यू जस्ट नीड टू हैव फर्स्ट यू नीड टू हैव एन पी एम इंस्टॉल इन योर लाइक मशीन एंड यू कैन जस्ट इंस्टॉल इट विद दिस कमांड सो ऑल्सो इफ यू हैव मैक यू कैन ऑल्सो इंस्टॉल विद दिस कमांड बट आई हेल्प प्रेफर एंड यूजिंग एन पी एम ओके कूल सो दिस आर द अपडेट्स लेट्स गो थ्रू इट वन बाई वन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स सी या इट्स लेट मी क्लोज दैट अप रियली क्विक एंड क्लियर so first of all you just install with that command that that i have shown and then you can access it with uh, gemini so the ui is just like this when you start and uh, yeah this is a simple to do app uh, next js and next js so let me start the server so uh, let me uh, pnpm run dev so currently it's a simple to do app that is opened in my uh, localhost 3000 and uh, yeah um, let's go to our uh, gemini cli agent and uh, let's go to our first uh, first uh, feature few first new feature that we have so they have got this new like vs code extension let me show you that uh, really quick um, yeah so this is the extension that we have got so you have got for cursor also for uh, vs code so just install it and uh, what you will see is you can connect your id uh, just like cloud code uh, so let me show you if you have not used cloud code so what happens is uh, just uh, install that uh, extension this one so just install that this extension and then when you uh, start gemini here in the in your, in your terminal and you can see um, when you uh, type slash ide status you can see uh, cursor connected so cur connected to cursor so if you are using cursor it will show cursor or else vs code okay cool so yeah this way you can connect and what's the benefit of this is like now like previously what used to happen is you just need to tag any file like currently we are in the uh, like slash page let me show you uh yeah currently we are in the slash page inside app directory we are in the slash page so if you type uh tell me tell me about about this page so you if you type this it will have context of this page so previously what used to happen is uh, you can't have access like you just need to tag which file you want to target so currently we like it has the context of which file we are in also yeah you can see this file defines the main page of the to do application here is the this thing so you can also uh, like suppose i am selecting this file uh, not this file this snippet like only this part of this snippet so i can select this and uh, say here like uh, tell me uh, about the selected uh, code snippet so it will tell us about only this part of the code because i have selected so previously we can't have this like uh, the selection feature was not there but with this extension let i have shown you uh, we have this feature so yeah you can see the selected code snippet is a typescript function named handle toggle complete yeah it's handle toggle complete so you have this feature baked in uh, with the extension and also one more thing with this extension you get suppose i want to update the readme uh, readme file so what you will see is first it will uh, get the context of the readme uh, yeah it's examining the readme and it will update the readme then what you can see is you can accept or deny just like what we have in cursor or like any other yeah you can see it that we have the option to accept or else uh, like uh, like not accept so yeah you can choose any suppose i want to like i don't want to accept this so i can cross it for now i am accepting this change so yeah it's very really cool feature uh, yeah ux is very good so 
yeah coming to our next feature it is yeah creating the gemini.md file just like clodder.md file or uh, cursor rules it has this uh, like when you uh, go to this and uh, type slash i guess i already have gemini.md so first let me uh, delete this gemini.md file um, and when you click slash in it and what you see is it will uh, create this gemini.md file so it will first analyze the project structure everything and it will create the gemini.md file just like cloud.md file or uh, cursor rules yeah so yeah you can see the project overview uh, like it's not like it's a simple to do app so it ha like it's not that big enough so i am accepting this really cool feature of accepting or denying uh, yeah so you can see all this in action so yeah really cool and yeah coming to our third feature that is memories so yeah what you can see is slash memory yeah so in memory we have like we can add we can let me show the current memories so the current memories are only the gemini.md file so you can see uh, where is it our gemini.md file so gemini.md file is by default a memory cool and uh, we can add more memories so if i add like memory is just like rules we you like which you define for every project so it's not defined for only this one like only this project it's it will be defined for every project so let me add one memory so slash memory add you just define the memory so suppose i want to add memory that my name is uh, depsoria okay just for showing purpose i am using this uh, and but you have can have any of the uh, memories just like uh, i want to use chatcn in every project so you can add this to your memory so for now yeah let's allow this so let's go to our next feature uh, that is stats so um, suppose i have done little bit of changes here and there like uh, updating the readme and uh, generating the md file now uh, we can see the stats so if i uh, uh, see the stats of the model so we can see that metrics we are using gemini 2.5 pro the api the re how many were the requests total tokens yeah total tokens uh, prompts cached how many thoughts output tokens how many so everything is there so also i can uh, let me see uh, also there are stats for tools so uh, yeah so session stat for tools so tool calls how many eight were there success rate 100 percent user agreement 100 percent all these stats you can see very cool so the stats feature was uh, also there previously but it has been a lot more detailed in this new uh, version so, and this gemini workspaces is like a new feature i have not seen this in uh, cloud code also so what happens is i was trying this out and uh, suppose like what i did is there is a directory thing so let me show all the directory so currently i am uh, ha i have this directory so which i am in like to do app this is the to do app so i can do, what i can do is i can add another directory so directory and uh, directory add so i can add other directory suppose i am adding um, i have let me paste it i suppose i am adding this this is my another project let me show you really quick uh, so this is my another Next.js project, uh, which is a Next.js app. So um, it's uh, like suppose I want to copy this stripe.ts file from here to my this project. So suppose you have any of the project code that you want to take from there and paste in in like current project. What you can do is uh, users like first directory add like add the that previous project so you can see that currently you have two directories that is one is to do app that is this one and another is next.js app that i have just shown you this next.js app so suppose i want to copy this stripe.ts file in my current project so what we can do is bring the like not bring copy the stripe.ts uh, file to this project uh, so what it will do is it will copy the stripe.ts file from next app to this to do app so yeah yeah you can see reading file from our other like that project and you can see already being implemented so uh, yeah stripe.ts file and let's uh, accept this and you can see in our lib folder here is our new uh, 
stripe.ts code so yeah suppose you have any other code snippet which you want to copy from that project to like your current project you can just use like it has context of that project and this project uh, simultaneously so it's a really good feature and this gemini uh, chat history so what you can do is suppose i have um, done this chatting uh, with this session so suppose like this is a session this full thing let me show you uh, from ever when i started to here this is a single session so what i can do is slash chat and uh, save suppose tag 2 so tag 2 will be the name of this session so if i save this it will get saved so next time so let me see the chat list and you can see tag 1 and tag 2 tag 1 i have uh, named my previous one like i have also saved uh, other session so tag 1 is another session and tag 2 is the this current session so suppose i come out of this terminal so i am uh, all out of the previous uh, session so uh, let me type gemini again and uh, what you can do is you can just go to chat and uh, uh, you can just uh, resume uh, which resume? like you can go to tag 1 or else tag 2 suppose i want to go to the tag 2 you can just type tag 2 and i have all the uh, session up here like what i have chat uh, like i have chat uh, in the that previous session all i have context but what i would like to have is auto saving of these sessions so currently we need to manually go to chat and save with any names but uh, like what i would like to have is like auto saving of these sessions just like uh, we have in cloud code so yeah uh, really great but um, gemini is doing really really great and it's also open source the community is doing really great also yeah also they have integrated this uh, github yeah github with like github ci cd also let me show you uh, this is the github integration so uh, i have not explored this uh, gemini cli github action so what you can do is you can just go to um, like setup github and uh, like you, if you click it it will create one dot github file so with which is a github actions thing so i have not explored this gemini cli with uh, github actions yet but you can try this out you can go to the like this github integration and read this and uh, have your uh, gemini cli uh, with your github actions so yeah so really great features coming in into the gemini cli new version so i will be using this gemini cli in my workflows because it's the free tier is very generous and also i am waiting for the gemini 3 so gemini 2.5 pro is really good uh, so i'm waiting for gemini 3 so let's see how it comes up with and do give this a try it's totally free and also with a great generous free tier and uh, yeah if you like the video do give it a like share subscribe and all those stuff and let's see in our next video till then peace